City of Detroit is back in business, at least in the towing business. Unexpectedly tonight, the police commission voted to give all towing rights within city limits to Detroit police. A surprising move that sends tow truck companies and operators now scrambling because they, of course, stand to lose a lot of money. Germont Terry uh, live at one soon to be city impound lot on the uh, east side with both sides of the story. Fascinating, Germont. It is, Devin. Now, the city owned property here alone, Mount Elliott, is going to be one of four new impound lots. If you get your uh, vehicle towed, you're going to have to come to one of these locations. Now, after f many decades of letting the private tow companies handle all the towing issues within the city, DPD wants in on the action and the money that comes with it. If your car gets towed in Detroit, you will now need to call Detroit police to get it back. DPD is stepping back into the towing business and putting the brakes on private tow owners. It's only a matter of time that eventually, based on what they were saying in the meeting, that we'll probably end up closing our doors. The guys at Detroit Auto Rescue on Joy Road have operated solely in the city since 1992. And most of the people I employ, they are residents of Detroit. But Thursday, the police commission voted to let DPD take over towing. It left the 22 private companies with city licenses confused. We we're blindsided today when we came to this meeting. I had no clue that the city was going to get involved in the towing business. It has been shown to be a best practice. Chief James Craig says six tow trucks are already purchased and DPD plans to hire just over a dozen workers. Is that good for the city? Yes, it is. But the Detroit Authorized Touring Association insisting it's the opposite for the more than 200 workers. This is detrimental to our business and detrimental to Detroit business owners. The city will operate four new impound lots. Drivers will now pay the city directly to get their vehicles, generating huge revenue. So how much are we talking? There has to be some projected numbers that you guys have examined. If you've already purchased the trucks, that would say, well, overall, we would generate, we expect this in the first you, six months. I'm telling you that uh, we have not projected in that way. He has to have some kind of recollection of what it's going to generate, because other than that, he wouldn't yes. be getting the business. And while the decision seems like a quick one, Chief Craig insisting that they started looking into this back in 2017, and the decision was just made today. Reporting live, I'm Jermont Terry, Local 4. Well, Jermont, if the city purchased six tow trucks, um, that is not enough to cover all of Detroit, right? <laughs> You're exactly right, Devin. Right now, the chief projects that they're going to handle about 20% of their, of their towing right now, and then they're going to pick and choose of those 22 companies which, one, which ones will get the overflow. And that's still unclear how that's going to work. So the yeah. towing companies in the city, along with the DPD, they're going to meet next week to try to figure out how much of this money of the pie they will truly still get. Yeah. All right, Jermont.